Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend, is bullish trend is over, what's going on with stock market world on a weekly time frame. I don't trade on a weekly time frame, I just monitor it, but it's good time frame for investors. For swing trading I'm using 4 hours on daily time frame for entry and exit position. Now it's a time for five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade, and you will be successful. Now it's a time for VBOL. And yeah, trading view, sorry. Trading view. Let's start from trading view. Stock market heat map, right? Based on all USA company, market cap, and weekly performance. My name is Vadik. Looks like large caps green, only Tesla red on the weekly time frame. Yeah, looks like only large caps green in every sector. The small caps re red, but large caps are green. Okay, that's all. Let's move to it's positive, it means it's still bullish, right? Let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. Let's start from USA dollar DXY. Uh, if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10 and green line SMA5 buy and sell script indicator below yellow line RSI line and Hekanachi bars it is Hekanachi bars indicators that's all now let me show you how it works look at the sell signal red circle when SMA5 green line did bearish crossover over red it was bearish reversal trend when buy signal and SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red. It was bullish signal bullish trend. Like four days ago, what we received, we received sell signal and SMA5 green line did bearish crossover over 10. It was bearish reversal trend. So far, last two bars they bounce from 200. They are trying to bounce from 200. Because SMA20 yellow line did bullish crossover, it is it is kind of bullish setup. It can bounce. Weekly time frame. <clears throat> Weekly time frame, it's a red week, but still that red week above SMA20, above yellow line. Still in the positive territory. We will see next week. Use. Let's start queues. Queues daily. Daily bullish trend, right? Bullish trend, gaps, eight gaps, bearish divergences on all indicators. But trend is bullish. It's like a bull trap. Let's see on weekly what's going on. Weekly, it is still bullish trend, also, right? Bullish trend and bearish divergences. Okay, bullish trend with multiple bearish divergences on weekly time frame for Qs. But so far, no bearish reversal signal. No, no reversal signal yet. Still bullish. S&P 500, let's start daily. S&P 500 SPX, same story, bullish trend. Bearish divergences on RSI. And same yeah same bearish divergences on rsi and bearish uh bearish divergence is a, it's a bearish condition divergence condition it's not a signal trend is still bullish it is trended still bullish signal but condition is already bearish okay and let's see weekly weekly what's going on 
quickly very over but very powerful move up and now rsi has bearish divergence right rsi has bearish divergence price action is bullish no bearish reversal signal yet Vix, let's see what's going on with Vix. Vix just did bullish crossover on weekly time frame, right? And it, it was reversed. It did move above SMA 20, 50, and reversed back below 20. It is bearish. It means SP 500 still bullish. Dow Jones. Let's start. Dow Jones daily, same bullish trend, bearish divergences. Uh, last two bars they did gap up, and now let's move to weekly, right? Weekly, let's see. Weekly, no divergences, just bullish trend, nothing changed, still bullish trend on all indicators for. Dow Jones, IWM, Russell 2000, let's start daily also. Daily SMA5 did bearish crossover over 10, it's a bearish reversal signal. And weekly, weekly last bar above all moving averages, still in the bullish territory, bullish bull trap, still in the bullish territory. Trend is bullish. Apple, <laughs> let's start Apple. Apple daily. Apple daily did close below all moving averages. It is bearish trend. Bearish trend daily for Apple. For our time frame for Apple, SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over 10 and it touched even bar, touched SMA20, but it was reversed back to, to the original uh, to SMA10. Still kind of weak and negative. Apple daily, daily right? Like I said, it's still bullish. Let's see weekly. Weekly SMA5 did bearish crossover over 20. Last bar closed at SMA50 level. It is, yeah, weekly. Apple wants to have some correction. It wants to go bearish on weekly time frame. Amazon. Let's start Amazon daily. Amazon daily bullish trend, bearish divergence. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. And weekly, weekly same story, bullish trend and weekly bearish divergence. On RSI, right? Bullish trend with bearish divergences on weekly time frame. Nvidia, let's see Nvidia daily time frame. Very powerful bullish run, bearish divergences. Weekly time frame. Weekly time frame strong bull run. It was you see long sideways. But now it's a powerful bull run, still powerful bull run, bullish trend and bearish divergence, let's see. Bullish trend, bearish divergence for NVIDIA. Tesla. Tesla daily, SMA 5 and 10 did bullish crossover over 20, but last bar moved below SMA 5 and 10. It's a bearish trend, bearish territory. 
4 hours time frame after the nice run sell signal and SMA5 did bearish crossover last bar below all moving averages ready for bearish trend 4 hours time frame yeah bearish and 1 hour time frame bearish let's move to weekly let's move to weekly for tesla weekly tesla last five now well not five more 10 weeks it was bearish trend and it is still bearish because you see sma 20 yellow line very it did bearish crossover it is very negative bearish setup it is bearish setup and now let's move to microsoft Microsoft did nice bounce after the bearish reversal. And, uh, yeah. Still in the bullish territory because last bar above us in my 20. Now let's see. Weekly time frame. Last bar still above all moving averages. Still trend is bullish. Our sign has already bearish. Microsoft, Microsoft same story, bullish trend, bullish recovery, RSI bullish, it left gap down, gap up, bullish trend and weekly, same bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages, still bullish, BABA, Baba SMA5 and bars did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish trend. That's all. That's all for today. Generally, on weekly time frame and daily, all equities and all indexes still bullish on a long time frame. Still bullish trend with bearish divergences on each indicator on each time frame bullish trend with bearish divergences okay now let's move to disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purposes we are using paper trading simulator now let's move to my last page thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe to this youtube channel click like button to support this channel i really appreciate all your efforts thank you so much and, and good luck bye now